Example 3. Solve x over 3 equals 6. Now remember that x over 3 is the same as saying x divided by 3. And again, our goal is to get the x by itself. We need to isolate this variable x. So to isolate the x, we need to get rid of the 3 on the bottom here. Now how do we get rid of a division like this? Well, the opposite of dividing by 3 is to multiply by 3. And to keep things equal, we need to multiply both sides of the equal sign by 3. To keep things legit, whatever we do to the left, we also do to the right. So let's draw a divider here. And on the left, the 3's cancel out and leave us with our x. We've isolated the x. And to finish up, on the right we have 6 times 3 equals 18. So we're done. But is this correct? We can find out. We write the original equation with a set of brackets in the place of the x. Now let's put our 18 in the brackets. So 18 divided by 3 equals 6. And we think back to our times tables, and sure enough, that's true. So the answer for this question is definitely 18.